Far in front in round one, down at Queenscliff, ahead of Claudia Slavin and, and Harriet Brown. It was an epic swim from her, and we're not going to expect much more of the same because she will not line up here today in round two. So an opportunity for some of the girls to take back a few points from her in the overall point score. Well, Lani Pallister, Josh out, resting up for the World Championships on in Adelaide in a few weeks' time. So without Lani Pallister in this race, it's certainly wide open. It is wide open. A few from Alexandra Headland, Noosa as well. Karina Lee, she's the Australian 10K Open Water Swimming Championship. So watch for her to come storming home very, very late. And it's a big start list here. 34 on the line. Bella Williams, the young gun, only under 17s from Cooks Hill. Girls are off and away. Tiani Massey there charging in from Maruchidor, the local girl Naomi Scott on the far right-hand side as well. A lot of the girls choosing to go down to that right-hand edge there, hoping the rip will take them out. They're headed to the white cans off in the distance. They're immediately duck diving. Ruby Nolan from Sunshine Beach in the center there got off to a real fly, but it's the top end. Well, that right-hand end, as we look at it now, that's really got the best of it at the moment. Lana Rogers is in the lead from the Noosa Club. Well, Rogers out very quick, Josh. She is the Australian Iron Woman champion, and we know she can swim. Swims like a fish, in fact. And without Lani Pallister, as we said at the start in this field, Lana Rogers will be certainly one to go to the front and set the pace. She's really pushing hard, and then down on that far end there as well. So two groups, and it looks like the... Well, southernmost group there, Naomi Scott. She's hit the can in first place. Lana Rogers in second, Tiani Massey in third as they come round the cans. They're very, very strong. Fourth place, Taylor Halliday from Alexandra Headland. Then the rest of the field strung out, and it's, well, arms and legs, kick, push, shove everywhere around the cans at the moment. Naomi Scott and Lana Rogers, no problems at all as they start to pull away from Tiani Massey. Well, it's Scott still out in front, as you said, Josh. Lana Rogers sitting on her hip. We see Rogers there staying as close as she can, conserving as much energy as possible before the final boy turn and heading for home. That's it. You've got to get there out with, well, using as least amount of energy as possible, and then you've really got to push hard for home as the girls turn there. Massey still in third. The rest of the field really struggling. A couple of the Alex girls decide to go very, very wide. And Emily Doyle goes with them there from the Newport Club, swimming her way into fourth place on the right-hand side. She's dragging Karina Lee up and into it at the moment as well. So the 10K open water swimmer, she's second for the left in that second group. There's pushing her way through the field and just swimming off course at the moment. There's a wave out the back. A couple are going to get this one. A couple are going to pick this one up. One's down it, definitely. Two down it as well. The girls push hard for the lead. And I don't know who that is. They'll stand up. Maybe Sarah Tasaki there from Northcliffe pushes out into the lead. Jade Slee from Mermaid Beach is our new leader on the way home there. And Taylor Halliday, the under 17 from Alexandra Headland, is right alongside her. Well, Josh, what a difference a wave makes. Jade Slee from Mermaid is now our leader. Lana Rogers did a great job to pick that little one up broken, and now it's a race in four out in front. Yeah, at the moment, Slee from Halliday. Rogers is there, and Maddie Dunn on that right-hand side. She's worked into it very, very nicely. Naomi Scott just behind her, and then maybe six or seven girls that are all pushing a little bit of a better line, but there's a little wave on here. This might decide it. Rogers just picks it up, tries to go over the top. Halliday and Slee are all there. Naomi Scott gets down one out the back alongside Maddie Dunn to get back back into it and now it's a foot race. Three girls wading across the bank. Lana Rogers has got the jump. Jade Slee, they all dive into the deeper section there. It's all about who gets up and gets running first. Taylor Halliday's coming at Rogers. Rogers gets up. She gets the legs out of the water. That might be enough in a hard fought win for Lana Rogers. She will streak away from the rest of the field. And the Australian Ironwoman champion is back on top. The Jolene female surf race. She gets the win in round two. The long run to the line. Well, it'll be an enjoyable one for Lana Rogers. What about the 16-year-old Taylor Halliday comes up and around in third. She was the under-15 Australian Ironwoman champion last year. Naomi Scott manages to scrape onto the podium. Jade Slee led late, couldn't get the job done. Maddie Dunn is there. Ruby Nolan crosses the line. So a bunch of the young guns there get big points in the Jolene female surf race. Sarah Tasaki in seventh. Bella Williams, Hilbron, Halliday, Doyle, McGrath, Lee, Massey, Sophie Arthur from Talabadra, Kelly Thompson, Allard, and Maddie Lowe from Newport with the top 20.
We had our Joel in at Swimwear round two winner, Lana Rogers. Tough conditions, but great racing. Yeah, um, I wasn't going to do this one actually. I didn't have the iron I wanted, didn't have the board I wanted. It wasn't my day at all today. Um, but I'm happy I did that. And got the swimming bars back. It's good. Uh, I got the bug over the swim bug, and obviously that's a, a strong leg for you as well on your iron, but uh, coming in some really nice little body ways to pick up. Not consistent all the way to the beach, but enough to make a difference. Yeah, okay, you know, you've got to angle, especially coming in from that can, it kind of glides you into the rip a little bit, but um, as long as you aim the, um, the end of that surf club, you're all fine. Well, tips from Lana Rogers, and a 100-point win is enough to get you into the top three alongside Lani Pallister. Naomi Scott and Ellie Halliday in the top two there, so the big names are fighting in the Halliday sisters. All both inside the top 10, a great performance from them. Wellborn, Nolan, Miller inside the top 16.